I'm editing the video today and as I'm editing our vlog I've realized that it is very very scattered and there's really not a point or a meaning to any of the clips so I'm just gonna hop in here for every few clips or whatever and just fill you in on what has been going on in this month and so these first few clips that you've seen Peter and I were on a trip to Austin with a couple. They invited us um, just for a weekend trip and they were being very intentional about getting to know us and just becoming friends and that is very, very exciting to me and Peter. We have come across lots of friendships and you guys know how hard it is to make friends, genuine friendships is what I'm saying. I think it's really easy to uh, make friends on a superficial level but to dive any deeper, it is very, very hard and so Peter and I really truly enjoyed this weekend in Austin getting to know the couple better and just really enjoying our little time away because we really haven't had any like time away from the kids just Peter and me doing our own thing uh, since we've adopted Ezra and so it's actually been quite nice what a pleasant surprise that was I guess I'm on here to say just what a blessing it is to have friendships that are like this in that I don't have to try to read what they're thinking or how they're feeling because they are very genuine and very open about what they are thinking and saying and doing and I just love that about people whenever I come across people who are just who they are and I have grown to just appreciate those kinds of relationships over the years as I've grown older and so just wanted to hop on here tell you guys a little bit about friendships and just what Peter and I really truly desire in friendships You won't fall down unless you fall. Today is what? What's today? What's today's date? August twenty-first. And, and we got something. We have Ezra's papers. Yay! The adoption was finalized in Korea, but whenever we came over to the states, there is a re-adoption process that we have to go through for Ezra. So then. It's kind of like an extra layer of protection for him. He will get a U.S. birth certificate Kiss. and all of that stuff. So it is finally here. Yay! 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 More paperwork yeah. that we yeah. needed to do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you so Are you so excited, Ida? Can Sorry, you believe it? We're almost done. So the next thing we'll be waiting on is Ezra's <laughs> birth certificate. Uh, oh my, oh my, oh my. So for this particular scene and clip in this day, we received Ezra's final adoption decree and that is such a huge step, you guys. For those of you who are curious, as I was talking a little bit about it in the vlog, this literally finalizes everything here on the US side. Granted, everything was already finalized in Korea, but we had to re-adopt him. This happens with uh, international adoptions mostly, and we have to go in front of a judge in the US and just present the case and he approves or she approves and we sign off that he is our child and his name and date of birth and he would be getting his social security card and birth certificate from the United States and so that's very very exciting that's what we needed to do to get all of those documents that we need for him to thrive here as a citizen and so 
yeah uh, granted it is a very long process because it took a long while for us to get his citizenship paper just because of the pandemic and stuff but once that was taken care of and then we contacted a lawyer and paid lawyer fees then they helped us navigate all of the readoption process and so there's that you guys for those of you who are curious <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> we are eating snacks outside, and I'm going to have my quiet time while they play and have their little snacks. And Peter is running his eight-mile day today. So today is August. What is today? August twenty-second, I think. Nuna, look at Oma. Nuna, look at Oma. Oh. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We are guys, here. Yeah. Can I see the video? How was your eight mile run? Nine miles. Nine miles? Wow. I see you have your little friend Turbo right next to daddy, huh? celebrate with him on that day um, just him proclaiming that he loves Jesus in front of all of these people and so that was truly a pleasure and a joy to be around honestly those are some of the most exciting times for me is to witness and be able to just celebrate what change has happened in their hearts like that Lovisa <laughs> um, okay, Ada, Ada, Ada. Ezra, are you fixing things under there? Yes. Oh, more. You help him? Okay, give him Ezra. some tools. Oh, you fix it? Oh, wow. Be careful. 
뭐야? Fix it. 오 잘했어. Okay, guys, I'm hopping in here for the last time to just kind of explain to you guys why this vlog is kind of, you know, scattered. There's really not much for this month of August. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the few clips that I have had and shared with you. I really truly enjoy putting them together and just. The creative aspect of it it is really just a hobby that i truly enjoy and so with that said i apologize for the lack of clips that we have and just all of that because life has been busy and uh our immediate family of five peter me and the kids are doing wonderful but we have had lots of just family uh, circumstances that has come up this year just with extended family and uh, so if you guys could just keep us in your prayers, um, there's like, you know, health stuff and just lots of uncertainty. I guess that's all I can really say, but there is a lot of suffering going on. And so because we love them and we are emotionally invested in their lives, we have found that it is just you know more time consuming than we thought obviously and so we are spending more time with them loving on them and serving them best we can but yes that is uh the reason why we have been lacking in our editing and just uploading but i hope to be back soon with our september vlog i have been vlogging for september more than uh, august but we'll see how much i have for that hope you guys are doing awesome Thank you guys for your continuous love and support for our family and just the reaching out and um, even doing Zoom calls with some of you or like just, you know, uh, chatting with you on Instagram or here on YouTube or through our email. Like I'm just blown away by your stories and just your hearts and your desires to just grow in your love for the Lord, all things like that. So thank you guys so much for just being here with us and with that said i will see you guys for our september vlog it's all alone sometimes it starts to make sense on this side of paradise we're never concerned when the grass always greener on the other side of the screen and misery